Hey, Eagles fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into the Eagles Report, and today, how about some fresh wide receiver free agency news regarding our Philadelphia Eagles? I'm telling you guys, the rumor mill is churning right now, and wide receiver seems to be very much in play for the Philadelphia Eagles coming up at the March NFL free agency deadline as we get closer and closer to the Eagles, hopefully giving Carson Wentz some help. Give it a thumbs up, this video. If Carson Wentz needs help, which means everybody should thumb it up because we all know Carson Wentz needs some new weapons. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so our first bit of Eagle news revolves around the wide receiver Demarcus Robinson, who was a Kansas City Chief this past year. And apparently, multiple sources are saying the Eagles are very much in play for Demarcus Robinson. Now, free agency again starts in March, and he has some very nice Andy Reid wide receiver offensive skill set that could go really well with Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson. I say Andy Reid offensive skill set. He's not the burner that Tyreek Hill is, that Sammy Watkins is. He's not the down-the-field threat that a lot of Eagle fans want. He's a very good possession receiver who still can catch a lot of passes and can go deep. He has about 15 yards in terms of average uh, yards per catch, but he's not the burner a lot of Eagle fans want, but could be very, very cheap in free agency and could be one of multiple wide receivers Philadelphia brings in here in free agency and also the NFL draft. I would not be surprised if the Eagles go ahead and sign somebody for cheap like a Demarcus Robinson just to have an extra body because they have the money to do so and still use a first round draft pick on a Henry Ruggs or a Jerry Judy, a deep threat, a true deep threat that they can build around for the next couple of years. And five games this year, Robinson, 32 catches, 449 yards, and four touchdowns. He has been a staple in the Reed offense. He's not Tyreek Hill. That's gets all I mean Hill and Kelsey, but still with a very good quarterback, the best quarterback in the league of uh, in terms of Patrick Mahomes. He was a very good wide receiver last year and has been in the past, and many people are already linking him to Philadelphia. Multi reports saying the Eagles are very much interested in Robinson once we get to the March, I think it's March 16th, is free agency, which really is pretty, pretty close overall. The Eagles are going to have $50 plus million dollars in cap space. That is a ton of money to go out and make a plethora of moves. They have you know, a couple of free agents that you got to look at to re-sign. We talked about Malcolm Jenkins needing to restructure his deal. Might want to re-sign Jason Peters or let him go. There are some free agent pass rushers, cornerbacks you could look at, but they will for sure have the money to go ahead and pull the trigger here on Robinson. The question is, will they do it? And when they do it, if they do it, will they pull the trigger on multiple wide receivers or just one to go ahead and help out Carson Wentz? Because remember, Deshaun Jackson and Greg Ward both return, and those are pretty good wide receivers on the roster as it is. We just need someone to replace, hopefully, Alshon Jeffrey and for sure Nelson Aguilar because I doubt the Eagles are going to go ahead and bring him back. There's more news for other wide receivers that I know you guys are excited to hear about. The NFL.com is linking us to Amari Cooper. Yes, the Dallas Cowboy wide receiver is in play for Philadelphia as well because Dallas, despite having $80 million, can't pay everybody. They got to pay, um, they got to pay Dak. They obviously have to look at paying Amari Cooper, maybe Byron Jones, the cornerback. It feels like if Byron Jones, the corner, or Dak, or uh, sorry, uh, Amari Cooper, the wide receiver, are a cap casualty, like they can't afford to pay him, the Eagles are going to swoop in and try and bring them over to the division rival here in Philadelphia. Cooper's going to cost a lot of money, $13 plus million dollars a year, probably closer to $15 or $16 million dollars a year, because remember, Julio Jones and Michael Thomas have reset the wide receiver market to being, you know, 21 $22 million a year for the best receivers in the league. But if you have over $50 million in cap space, Amari Cooper is very much um, a huge a huge addition to the Philadelphia Eagle offense. I would feel very, very confident if they signed Amari Cooper to really not go out and make any other wide receiver moves. I think if you were to spend the money and get Amari Cooper, who is the best wide receiver in free agency, you might consider not drafting one. Now, I know. Staying at 21, everyone is predicting the Eagles to go and get a wide receiver, and I would love Henry Ruggs and Jerry Judy, but if you got Amari Cooper and Deshaun Jackson's back and healthy, there's your deep threat, and Greg Ward, who showed that he can go anywhere and play the slot and be really, really good as well, you have our Thega Whiteside sign. Like, you could see a nice receiving core centered around Amari Cooper without having to spend your first-round draft pick on, on a wide receiver, and you could spend it on a cornerback or a safety or a pass rusher or whatever you want to do. It's a thought. I would rather get a wide receiver in free agency and draft one. I think you got to come up with two wide receivers this offseason. But you can see if they go all in on the number one wide receiver in free agency like Amari Cooper, where they decide, all right, we don't want to spend another first-round draft pick. We can only get Carson so many weapons. We want to go ahead and get him a cornerback alongside him as well. What do you guys think? 
Let me know in the comments section down below. Would you rather go ahead and just get Amari Cooper and be done with it, or do you guys want to draft a wide receiver? We've gotten mixed comments on previous videos talking about, oh, well, you know, he's a Dallas guy. I don't want to touch a Dallas guy. He's soft, blah, blah, blah. Don't touch Cooper. I've heard a lot of people commenting down below saying, no, definitely go out and get Amari Cooper. So thumbs up if they need a wide receiver, but comment down below which one you guys want them to go ahead and get. I read through all the comments. I'll like the ones that I like, and we'll move forward from there. But right now, the big news, Demarcus Robinson, wide receiver, and uh, Amari Cooper, wide receiver, obviously, are two being linked to Philadelphia that the Eagles could go ahead and grab. And we know they're going to get somebody. They're going to get a wide receiver. It's a matter of who, when, why, how much. We'll just have to wait and see what happens in the next couple of days and weeks. Final bit of news here. The Eagles' uh, Amazon Prime series, All or Nothing, is, 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 is out right now. You can go and watch all eight episodes. I'm on episode seven right now. I just watched the episode where they lost to the Miami Dolphins, which is like... How did we end up losing that game? You forget that we turned the ball over five times in that game. It was so bad. You lose to Seattle and the Patriots. It was a mess. But the Amazon Prime All or Nothing, for those of you who have not seen it yet, has been honestly a great look inside the Philadelphia Eagle locker room and how that team is overall built. The Eagles have looked bad at wide receiver. The Amazon All or Nothing series does not really tell us a detail what's going on whenever Alshon Jeffrey had his uh, lower leg problem and of course Nelson Aguilar had the knee issue. Remember they sat out a lot of games till finally being put on IR. Doesn't give us a good look at that but it shows that the Eagles for sure need to go ahead and upgrade at wide receiver. Another big takeaway I had, though, was Brandon Graham's leadership. They've shown Brandon Graham a lot. He's been the center of a lot of the episodes. He is still, at his age, over 30, 32 years old, on his third contract with Philadelphia, a vocal leader of the defense and backs up his talk. I'm very glad BG is there. And this Amazon Prime Series really shows overall why he's one of the better players on the Eagles defense. I think it shows that the Eagles defense is very, very close to being one of the best in the league. They show flashes being one of the best in the league. They got to get better at linebacker. They got to figure out corner. And if they do both of those things, they can be the best, if not a top five defense, a top 10 defense in the National Football League any given week, week in and week out. The final thing I took away, I'm not done yet, episode seven and eight, I'll be done shortly, is the locker room is very, very strong. Remember last year, there was all these reports, you know, the Alshon Jeffrey might have been mumbling, the Eagles locker room is not strong. It is a very strong locker room, and this has been surely showed it. Unless there's stuff they're not showing us, the Eagles are fine. They're one of the better locker rooms in the National Football League. Carson Wentz is a leader. Miles Sanders looks really, really good. I think they're all... They've all have gelled well and are going to have a really good time going forward in the future. But any doubt about the Eagles locker room, I think, can be put to bed as it looks very, very good in the All or Nothing series. Again, it's a series. They could be hiding stuff. I know what came out during the, the, the regular season in terms of there was some chatter about Carson Wentz. It looks like he's a leader and the rest of them are all gelling and meshing well together under Doug Peterson, as we know, because they won a Super Bowl just a couple of years ago overall. There you go. How about all this interesting stuff that's going on with our Philadelphia Eagles? Subscribe down below. You're notified whenever we drop new videos. We update you guys on all the latest rumors here during rumor NFL offseason because you never know who is going to be linked to the Philadelphia Eagles. Demarcus Robinson was not one that I had put in my top five wide receivers. You can sign in free agency video. We'll link that up here, I believe. It'll be somewhere. You can just click on the channel and go find that one. But Amari Cooper is somebody that we know has been linked to the Philadelphia Eagles. And now we just kind of hope that they go out and make a move overall. I'd like Cooper over Robinson. We saw what Dak Prescott's numbers look like without Amari Cooper and with Amari Cooper. Whatever you have to say, I know he's the enemy. He's a Dallas Cowboy. He's an elite wide receiver. And when Dak Prescott got better when Amari Cooper was on that squad. You got to figure with Carson Wentz, a better wider, a better quarterback can go ahead and elevate Amari Cooper's status as well. Would I put it at in a 30% chance to get Amari Cooper, 50% chance? And I think it's I think it's less than 50. If I was the Eagles, and again, I I think I, I figured out what they need to do. They're gonna get a smaller name like a Robinson like a, a, a Robbie Anderson, gets get a small splash in free agency and then draft a cornerstone wide receiver of the future because we've seen a lot of good young quarterbacks. You know, Matt Ryan was young. He had Julio Jones, DeAndre Hopkins, paired with Deshaun Watson, Tyree Kill with Patrick Mahomes. The Eagles do not have that. You could draft a Henry Ruggs, get a Jerry Judy. That could be your... Um, really your wide receiver quarterback tandem for the next 10 years. I really think that is what they're going to do overall. All time we have today on the Eagles Report. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thumbs up if Carson Wentz needs help. Comment down below which wide receivers you guys expect the Eagles to go ahead and get. And also subscribe. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. We are crushing it here on the Eagles channel. The fastest growing and best overall content in terms of Eagles on YouTube. I promise you that. If you're first time watching this video, subscribe because we've got great stuff going coming up ahead with the, uh, the offseason, with the NFL draft as well. For the Eagles Report, I'm Thomas Mott, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.
Did you like that video? Thanks for watching, but why don't you click this video right here because we did it just a couple of days ago and guess what? It's about the Eagles too. Like that video? Why don't you subscribe right down here? That way you're notified whenever we release more videos here on the Eagles Report. It's the fastest growing Eagles channel here on YouTube. Video, subscribe, click them right now. Go ahead, click them.